getting saved is about dealing with sin. And we all need to come face to face, and, and which I did with the fact that, you know, the book of Romans teaches that when we compare ourselves with God, mm -hmm. now that's different. We compare ourselves with people down the street. We're better than some people, some people worse than we are. We're better than some people as far as things we do and don't do. But when you compare our, when we compare ourselves with a holy, righteous God, we find that none of us really measure up, you know, because he's perfectly righteous and holy, the scripture teaches, and we don't measure up. And so we have this problem called sin, and there's a penalty that God has put on the world, on people, and because of his justice, that penalty is death in hell for all of eternity, but Jesus loves the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so he stepped forward and said, I'll pay the price for man's sin. He died on the cross, substitutionary death. And three days later, he rose again from the dead. We have a risen savior. And if you turn to Christ, even tonight, if you call upon him to save you, if you ask him to be your savior, he'll do that, you know? Mm -hmm. And that, that's as simple as it can get. So simple, a lot of people miss it.